Yo, what is up, Alpha Squad? Today we're gonna be checking out We Scheme's uh, remix to Alfred's theme. Now, this was specifically a challenge addressed to the Reactor community. It's a hundred dollar um, reward for whoever he thinks has the best reaction to it, or the bar breakdown. Um, if I do win by any reason, <clears throat> whether he likes my reaction for whatever reason uh it's just gonna get donated either right back to him in a chat <laughs> or i'll have him just send the money to someone who he thinks he knows that already needs it so um yeah so i don't want anyone to think that i'm gonna just cop it and that i'm just doing this reaction <clears throat> for the money because i'm not so uh let's get right into this shit y'all i'm excited as fuck Hiya kids, come one, come all, witness a once in a lifetime event. Today we scheme will allow the beat to be goofier than him. Okay, okay, so I immediately am hyped for this fucking song because he had a <laughs> introduction, like he had an announcer introduce him. <laughs> Let's do it. Come all, witness a once in a lifetime event. Today we scheme will allow the beat to be goofier than him. Welcome to remixing, the lyrical homicide Been kept up at night, by lyrical error guys Try to poke holes in my material Bear disguise, misinterpret the goals And improperly analyze Listen. Okay, so first off, his uh <clears throat> The way he's doing His, his uh The first pocket of the flow he's hitting Is super dope And then the second pocket that he hits And the back end of the flow is perfect And, he, and his opening four bars are Following that scheme Oops. Welcome to remixing the lyrical homicide. Been kept up at night by lyrical error guys. Try to poke holes in my material. Bear disguise, misinterpret the goals and improperly analyze. So he's he's immediately saying, uh, uh, okay. So he he referenced Eminem by saying he's gonna go at uh this beat uh the the what's the word he said the lyrical homicide. That's the song that he had on uh with Logic or Logic had on with Eminem. So the remixing. So he's remixing an M track. <clears throat> And um, the bars after that were referencing people that are trying to poke holes and they're trying to just basically either say things that he's not or they're just basically waiting for him to write something so they can pick it apart and uh, lie about what he's saying. Guys, try to poke holes in my material, bear disguise, misinterpret the goals, and improperly analyze. Listen, turn your picture up against my annals of impeccable guys. will be wise to find billions of the nothing of white civilians. I don't hide for the millions. The gimmicks of mirror see a clearer find the hiding little man as you, my dear. Ooh, okay, so that's dope. That, that, um, I like how he's doing every four bars, the scheme changes. Now, the, the scheme didn't necessarily change there. He sped it up in that four bar interval, and he kind of just expanded on the, the, um, the last four bars in the sense of people uh basically just misinterpreting what he's saying in his songs and they don't understand his style you know i'm not even a bit like i'm not i like scheme i'm you know like as homies as i can be with them uh as possible right now um and i don't listen to a lot of his stuff but i know what i've heard you know what you're you should know what you're getting from him immediately right off the bat i mean the announcer said it himself he's gonna allow the beat to be goofier than he he is on this so <laughs> by billions of the nothing of white civilians i don't hide for the millions the gimmicks of mirror see a clear i find the hiding little man as you my dear people dislike what they don't understand so put my head on the pike it's all part of the plan my body of work flies over your land as you catapult my clothes i shift from your apish hands but when i hit yo okay so he <laughs> that's dope uh he ex he okay so his punchline on the catapult was actually dope because the line before that was describing what a catapult does and uh it launches you and you hit the like, like if you were a body and you got launched by a catapult you'd hit the land <clears throat> my body of work flies over your land over your land as you catapult my corpse i shift from your apish hands yeah from your apish hands i like it i like it when i hit a fan they glad to me like we're fam you stole me by the way his his uh right now with this scheme he's doing scheme haha <laughs> that's funny with this rhyme scheme he's doing um the a u u an i'm trying to i can't catapult corpse like shit yeah apish hands and then right after this but when i hit a fan they glad to me like we're fan yeah so the the i and the ah and then it breaks down again back to the i and then the ah again fan fam i hit like a, like this is super dope man his writing goes <clears throat> his writing goes unnoticed a lot like it, he rhymes a lot of people uh, i say this all the time <laughs> a lot of people don't understand the uh 
the intricacies of rhyming and the multis and the internal rhymes. Um, and when Scheme delivers it like this, it's easy to go over your head, but the rhymes, like, he's not just doing an A-B-A-B rhyme, like, you know what I mean? Like, he, he brings it back. It'll be A-B-A-B, C-D-C-D, A-B-A-B, all in one flow. Impeccable guys will be wise to find billions of the building of wise civilians. I don't hide for the millions. The gimmicks and mirrors see it clearer. I find the hiding little man as you, my dear. People dislike what they don't understand. So put my head on the pike, it's all part of the plan. My body of work flies over your land. As you catapult my corpse, I shift from your apish hands. Okay, so damn, he did a lot of imagery there with the. With uh, <clears throat> so people don't like what they don't understand, which is a fucking fact. So they put my head on a pike, like so. He's describing basically like, yo, this is the if people don't like what I'm doing, so he's painting that picture. They're gonna kill me for it, and he paints a bigger picture by describing his catapult being flung into the air uh, by their apish hands, like you know, apish, <clears throat> apish. I'm taking as um, like a like a knock on their IQ, you know, like he's telling them they're de-evolutionized in that sense being apish but when i hit a fan they glad to me like we're fam you storming with your troopers while we jet on by a dam i guess we jet guys with dead dies come over for a sock with jet dies take my five guys over in okay so he, he had a uh, the stormtroopers the force the jedis he's got a cool star wars scheme in that internal rhyme to me like we're fam you storming with your troopers while we jet on by a dam i guess we jet guys with dead dies come over for a sock with jet dies take my five guys over in the small fries i got extras in the bag try to rock me like a king and then up before you make a sing kiss the scheme now we too okay a lot of i was about to say there's a lot of fast a lot of foos fast foos <laughs> fast food bars right here catch the scheme now we too fast and hungry more fast food references right there i mean he named he mentioned in and out he mentioned the small guys the fries, the extra fries, like you know what I mean, like get some extra with that, like. I mean. Boy, sock with jet dies, take my and I don't, I don't know. Five Guys is a national chain, so if you don't know about Five Guys, you don't know about it. <laughs> uh, I know In and Out is only on the West Coast. They might be a little bit on the East Coast. I don't know. I hear about them mainly on the West Coast. I'm in Arizona, so I know about In and Out. Five Guys over in the small fries. I got extras in the bag. Try to rock me like a king in and out before you. Yeah, the Burger King, want me like a king. You make a sing, kiss a scheme. Now we too fast and hungry. But please don't pluck me from the social feed. Ooh, and get... that's dope the way he ended that. Okay, so the punchline on social feed. Okay, okay. That was dope. That was dope. He he put a... He put a uh, a tie on the present or a bow? Like a, it was like a bow on the present. Like it's a little cherry on top type of... I like that. What... Try to rock me like a king in and up before you make a sing Kiss the scheme, now we too fast and hungry But please don't pluck me from the social feed Cause I've got food for thought You brought regrettable, forgettable, and edible slop Ooh, I got food for thought You brought regrettable, forgettable, and edible slop The, the e e e e e e Like that's, he, regret, like the, the alliteration on the E Uh, is incredible right there Regret that's already two forgets and then he has more alliteration on that able so it's regret table forget table and then he brings back the alliteration with inedible i'm gonna imagine because he just introduced this it's gonna be uh he's gonna probably keep the four <clears throat> the, the patterns of four going so if he keeps this flow going that'll be sick because schematically that's uh that's a lot of internal rhyming for one flow your fate inevitable, let a dog go nobody buy Can't be competitive with poor and a different pet And he did it, now <laughs> bring it back so we can hear it Completely like the way it's supposed to sound Bread and butter And he kept it going Um, the scheme of, of the, the whole I mean, not even just fast food at this point Just food in general The digestible content Literally. <laughs> I food for that. You brought regrettable, forgettable, and edible slot. You're fate inevitable, let a dog or nobody buy. Can't be competitive with boring, set a different pedic drives. And those who mess with me. Ooh, was that one? That was really dope. Can't be competitive with boring, set a repetitive drops. So he made it, he changed this last one a little bit and he made it work because the way he stopped and popped the syllables. Because if you look at the other lines, like this one only has one uh multi-syllable uh alliteration rhyme in it like inevitable like that one is the only one in that line but if you look at these food for that you brought regrettable forgettable and end up see like that's a lot that's three words right there where he has the syllable the multis lined up you fit inevitable let a dog or nobody back and then right there it's two but he has the the compound rhyme nobody to make it stretch so he can fit the lines in like if you're not counting your syllables you can't rhyme like this um and even if you don't count them you get to the point where you could just tell uh <clears throat> how things fit in 
uh, just after years of writing, which I'm sure he's been writing for a long time. Can't be competitive with boring, sedative, repetitive drops. Like, it's dope. I love this shit. Very good. Very good. Can't be competitive with boring, sedative, repetitive drops. And those who mess with me will pop. Sorry about your bubble, but I'm bursting when I pop. So for your next flop, you land belly up top. Big up trying to buy your way with the buck stop. Ooh, that was dope. So he actually, um... The belly up and the flop <clears throat> was a really good theme. And then uh, the, the before that right here, the bubble and the bursting and the popping and the bop. Like, this is this is really good. I know, uh, what's his name? Uh, lately, can't remember who it is. There's an artist lately who I, who really highlights the, the, the theme of bars. So, like, it'll, for two bars, he'll have a strong theme. And then for another two bars, he'll have maybe the same thing being like scheme is doing it with the food like he did it he's done it with so much the longest one he's done it so far is the food he had so many i think he had maybe three uh four structure bars maybe so a total of 12 bars of <laughs> relating all with food um and and so I'm, my point is that is becoming a more popular trend these days because you can you're able to tie in more things doing that if you can just because there's a lot of things to look for. You got the actual syllable structure of <clears throat> the bars. Uh, you got to look for metaphors. You got to look for similes, the entendres, the alliteration. Uh, and then now the theme, like the theme, there's imagery, uh, like that kind of, it's crazy. I'm ranting. Let's get back into this, guys. And those who mess with me will pop. Sorry about your bubble, but I'm bursting when I pop. So for your next flop, you land belly up top. Bigger trying to buy your way with the buck stop. Corrupt and lions lie away, but I'm the poor you. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> this is so fucking dope. You drop so my cue will smack you back while I am sticking. Excuse me, I burped, that's what that pause was. Do my chops when I break you, fall into pockets, but my stick remains at hand of your play and pocket pool in her imagination land. Ooh, this dude is fucking. His punchlines are fucking super. He's he's always been like that satire. I think that's the right word. He's always been like that satirical um, jab kind of MC. You know, like he's he's funny with his jabs. Uh, I don't know if he's talking. See, I'm very curious. A lot of if because these are very. He's using use and and uh, they's. Uh, it's not very like directed at one person. So. If it's towards just the people in general who are misinterpreting his stuff, these are all really fucking funny because his punchlines are, <laughs> they're hitting. Yeah, this pool, I'm, did he have a chalk line in there? Because it would be in there with that scheme right there dropped. If he had a, if he had a chalk line in there with this pool bar scheme, <laughs> this is so fucking dope. Away, but I'm the pool where you drop, so my cue will smack you back while I am sticking to my chops. When I break you, fall into pockets, but my stick remains at hand of your play and pocket pool in her imagination land. I stay unique. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't. I'm surprised he didn't, unless I'm missing it. Let me let me double check. I, that would have been such a good opportunity to make a chalk, because you use chalk for your pool stick uh, bar with the with the stop and the pop and the like. So if he said it and I miss it, then damn. But uh, I couldn't help but notice that. Corrupt and lines lie away, but I'm the pool where you drop. So my cue will smack you back while I am sticking. To I mean, there you go. So my cue will smack you back while I'm sticking to my chops. He ah, why didn't he not do it? Break, you fall into pockets, but my stick remains at hand of your play and pocket pool and her imagine. And then like the break, like the the pockets, like he's doing nothing. See, this is another theme I'm talking about. This is a pool theme. Like in those four bars, it's been so many different references for pool and uh it's a cool theme because it's not like you're gonna say oh that's the song where it's about pool no it's like it's just bars at this point he's had bars about uh just food the digestive uh like the social like he tied it into a lot i don't need to keep talking about it <laughs> Imagination land, I stay unique. You're basic and basically bleak, providing words I wanted like a mime trying to speak. And Ooh, whoa, 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 like a mime trying to speak. You're basic and basically bleak, providing words unwanted like a mime trying to speak. Providing words unwanted like a mime trying to speak. Okay, that's super dope. <clears throat> I like that. Just saying unnecessary shit, man. Keep running your mouth. You providing words unwanted like a mime trying to speak. <laughs> Inviting spurn, you got it. Psych, your rhymes don't need to peak. Inviting spurn, you got it. Psych, your rhymes don't need. Okay, this is. He's seriously on some. On a. I wonder. Because I didn't listen to a lot of his album. I only listened to. 
like maybe a couple of songs from it. And that, this is making me want to hear the rest of his album. If he, uh, I know, I think he got emotional on it. So I'd be curious if he had any kind of this vibe on that album that he dropped because, and I feel bad. I don't remember the name of it too. Uh, Cause this is dope, man. If he was in any kind of vibe like this on this album, I'm missing out, man. <laughs> Fighting words I wanted like a man trying to speak. And fight his burn you got us like you might so lead to peak. To cousin soul that nuance. Love force has no mystique. Puzzle something flaws from a master boogie man. Does it bother you not no Wait a second. No mystique. Puzzle something flaws from a master boogie man. Does it bother you not knowing who is better than you man will wipe your boogie stand? You're part of a much bigger plan. I know the scheme behind the mask is something you can't understand. And the scheme behind the mask is something you can't understand. That's a double already, you know, scheme for rhyme scheme, scheme, that's him, behind the mask, that's him, you know. It's all, um, it's all clever as fuck. And there wasn't a single line on this, uh, remix that didn't tie into the next or overall didn't attribute to the, the bar structure as a whole. No, the scheme behind the mask is something you can't And it makes me really think he's taking shots at a specific person, <laughs> but... If it's not, then it's earlier like you referenced the um, just all the people who are misanalyzing what he's writing. So, so it's either that or towards someone specifically or a group. But I mean, he did mention a stand, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I could, he could just be th th referencing for the theme because it's an Eminem remix. I don't know. But this is dope. Let's add nuance, blunt force, has no mystique. Fuck. Puzzle something flaws from a master boogie man. Does it bother you not knowing who is better than your man? Will wipe your boogie stand. You're part of a much bigger plan. I know the scheme behind the mask is something you can't understand. So many bars. This was easy for him too, man. That was effortless for him. <clears throat> that was effortless for him. I need to sub up. I don't know why I'm not subbed up. But, uh, yo, that shit was dope as fuck. If you guys enjoyed my, uh, reaction, uh, Make sure you guys like this video. This was, again, this was by Wee Scheme, uh, Alfred's Theme, the Wee Scheme remix. This shit was dope as fuck. Like I said earlier, uh, this was a challenge. But uh, if I get the $100, I'll, I'm either just going to have him keep it so he can send it to whether it's a, a foundation or, or some sort of uh, event or whether he knows someone who can, you know, like, basically, I don't need it. I'm just reacting because I wanted to react to some scheme, you know? I wanted to react to some scheme and... Uh, like I said, guys, if you enjoyed this, I love y'all. Till next time, doses.